Hello everyone, this is Kira with another Minecraft tutorial. Um, I've been playing around with the new repeater lock function um, that has been released with the snapshot 12w42a. And in case you don't know what this does, a short intro in that, we now have the opportunity to save a or to set a repeater on a fixed output. As you can see, there's a small bar on, on this repeater now, and if I remove the torch behind it, I still have a signal on this repeater. Um, this function opens up um, new opportunities in, in redstone contraptions, and I started to play around with flip-flops. And what we have here is a T flip-flop that, well, basically has no, it has no pistons in it. Let me just show you how it works. It's actually pretty fast, the speed of the of the circuitry. Um, only problem here is if I spam this button, it jams up. As you can see, this repeater here, it has to be off for it to work. But it, besides that, it's it's quite nice. It's pretty small. Um, as said, has no pistons in it. It's actually five by four by one and you know well by two maybe because of these two redstones but you could as well remove this one and use a torch here so this works as well um yeah in in uh in terms of of size and um, this is like the the best t flip flop or the most compact that i know um it also is pretty fast so this is not too bad now let me show you how to build it. Let's start with our input. Um, just gonna mark this block as the input and put another one behind. Uh, a torch to the side, redstone, and a repeater. Next to that repeater, we placed uh, another one to make use of this new lock function and one behind. Then we're gonna place redstone here, redstone on top of the block where the torch is at. This is gonna be our output and we have to bring a signal back to this first repeater and this has to be set well basically these three repeaters have to be set on a delay of 10 in total so we make four here two here and four here and we have a delay of exactly 10 redstone ticks which is one second now place a button over here just mark uh, some kind of uh, output with uh, the piston here, press the button, and it does not work. Why not? All right, I forgot a redstone over here. There we go. And oh, yeah, I forgot another thing. Very important this repeater here has to be set to two. There we go. So, what basically happens here is this signal that is brought uh, from the button. Um, is actually 1.1 seconds long. So this is just enough so that when this repeater locks this repeater uh, that it rem uh, remembers the, the on signal so to say and, and sets this repeater on a fixed output. Over here we have two other versions of, of the repeater well the T flip-flop without pistons I have no idea how to call it. Um, we can put a monostable circuit in front of uh, the repeater thing and this will as a reminder or this will help on, on we won't need as much repeaters and as a reminder um, we need to delay the signal that we bring back from our output to the first repeater here uh, we need a delay of one second over here and if the signal that is triggering the whole thing is shorter than one second precisely we have a tick of three over here um, then we can we need less repeaters when we bring back the signal from the output let me just show you that on the downside this is a little slower than the one over there and well you actually don't save up on resources since you need repeater and a piston for the for the monostable circuit. We have the same thing over here, just a different monostable circuit. Um, on the downside here is we need two repeaters 
to make this a three tick long signal because uh, it has to be three ticks. Let me just remove that. Now we have a two tick. No, wait, this is not good. I gotta do it like this. Now we have a two tick and I can show you nothing happens. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, as said, the new repeater function will open up a lot of new opportunities, which is quite nice, and I just wanted to to share this little new T flip flop, which is kind of nice, I think. So, thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you later.